Hello, welcome to Unreal Engine tutorial. So in this video, we're going to see how to create the AI system in Unreal Engine. So for this tutorial, we are going to use this T-Rex model, which is available in Epic Store. So if you want, you can uh, like purchase this. I will put the link in the description. So what we need to do is we need to click on this add to the project. Uh, so for what project you are going to like create this AI system. So we need to click on this add to project. And we have to select the project which we have created. So for time being, uh, it is supportable only for this like 5.0. So what we need to do is if I click on this, it will not show the project which you have created in the 5.4. So we need to click on this show all projects and we have to come down. And here we need to select this T-Rex AI. And here we need to select this 5.0 so that we can able to add. Still it will work for the 5.40. So select this add to project. So now it has been added. So if you see, you can uh, see this T-Rex model, which has been added to the project, which we have created. So this is a third person blueprint. Uh, this is a default template, which is coming from the like Unreal Engine. So this is a third person. You can see if I click on this play. So now the player can walk around and jump and everything. So we'll create the dinosaur like T-Rex model to roam around this world. And later on videos, we will see how to create the attack animations that means like the dinosaur will attack to the player and also we will see the damage system and also we will add the detection meters as you see in the previous games like uh, far cry so that when we are in the site of dinosaur so it can able like we can able to see the detection meter so after filling that it will start attacking the player so first we have to create the blueprint for the t-rex model which we have downloaded so like first i will create the folder in the content so right click new folder We'll name it as like blueprints. So here I will create the blueprint for the um, T-Rex model. So right click, we need to click on this blueprint class. So select this and here we need to select this character. So we can name it as like blueprint underscore T-Rex AI and double click. So now this is empty. We need to add the model which we have downloaded. So select the mesh in the right side. You can see there is an option like a skeleton mesh. So we need to click on this and we need to select the T-Rex model. And after that, just adjust to the ground level and just rotate around because this arrow is facing towards this direction. So the T-Rex model has to face towards the direction as you see in the blue arrow here. So after this, uh, we need to create the animation blueprint. So as this is a default uh, pose, so we need to create the animation blueprint and also we need to create the blend space so that the dinosaur like or T-Rex model can walk around the world like from idle state to walking state and laterly we will add the running state too. So first we need to create the animation blueprint and blend space. So for timing just I will dock this. And now we need to create the animation blueprint. So in order to do that we can right click animation. So here you can see there is an option animation blueprint. So here we need to select the skeleton like the T-Rex model. So select and create animation blueprint underscore T-Rex and just we can double click here. So now what the thing is, we need to create the blend space so that we can drag and drop into this animation blueprint and literally uh, we'll make it walk around the world. So first I will create the blend space. So in order to do that, we can right click animation. We can go to legacy and here you can see blend space. So here we need to select this T-Rex blend space underscore T-Rex. And now we need to double click this thing and see, uh, like whatever the model which we have downloaded from the epic contains a lot of animations. So I will show this. So here if you go to this T-Rex and you can see there are a lot of animation which come from this package like attack animation, walk, idle, dead, sleep. And these are the animations. So if you double click on this, so you can see this is the animations here. So we have to create the blend space uh, from idle to run state so that uh, we can make the basic movements of this AI. So uh, what the thing is just we will go to the blend space which we have created. So go in the blueprints, uh, blend space of T-Rex So double click. So these are the animations which are available for this model. So like here you can see in the horizontal axis, make sure you name it as like speed. Literally it will be uh, easy for us to like look around means like we can increase the increase and decrease the max speed of this thing. And after that the maximum access value here default I will give to like 600 so that the dinosaur can like come from idle state to run state here 
So later you will come to know what is this maximum value. So for timing, just I will give the value to like 600. It depends on the character which you are creating here. So first we need to add the animations which we want to blend. So for timing, just we will go to the idle animations. So this is the animation which I'm going to add. So we have to drag and drop and set this value to exactly zero. So see now it is playing an idle animation. So literally what I think is according to the requirement, we can blend from idle to walk, walk to run state here. So we will go for walk animation. So let's say we can see a lot of animations. So for timing, just I will give the first one walk and just you select this point and type to 300. As I said, like maximum value is 600. So ideal to walk. So because the at starting point, the dinosaur has to walk, not run. After seeing the player, then it has to start running. Later on videos will cover this. So, and just we'll go to the run and just we'll drag and drop to this thing and select this point and type 600. So now if you want to see the blend space animation, you can con you can hold control and drag so that now see it is going to the walk animation and later it is going to run animation here. So this is a thing we have to do, uh, do in this uh, blend space. Uh, so we can close this thing for time being. So now what the thing is, we have to drag the blend space which we have created. So this is a blend space. We can drag into the animation blueprint. And just we need to drag. And also make sure we have to add one more node in between these two things like default slot. So we have to take this default slot. This is very important. Later on, uh, we will create the attack animations uh, through animation montages. So in order to play the animation montages, make sure we need to add this default slot to the uh, T-Rex model here. And after that, uh, we can promote this variable. So as we have to create this, right click, promote to variable and this. Thing. So default, uh, it is like, if you compile, you can see. So this is the default value. So default, I will give the value to like 300. As I said, default, it has to work from idle to walk animation. So compile, close. So now after that, uh, we need to go to the blueprint which we have created. So now when whenever we place onto this thing to the world, so still it will not play the animation because in this blueprint, we have to define the animation blueprint which we have created. So here, uh, whenever we select the mesh, you can see there is an option anim class towards the right side. And here we have to select this animation blueprint, which we have created animation blueprint. So see, now it is going to start walking. After that, we need to go to the animation blueprint and go to the event group because defaultly you will not have any velocity for the character. So we need to add the velocity in the animation blueprint. So here we are in the anim graph and you can see there is an option like event graph. So we need to click on this event graph. Here you can see there is an option like try get pawn owner. So we can drag to this thing and we have to type like velocity. So get velocity. And from this velocity, we need to get the vector length so that uh, we can connect to the speed. So vector length. So we need to uh, drag and drop this speed. So drag and we need to set this thing. And we have a shortcut for this thing. So if you like control and drag, we will get the get. And if you alt and drag, you will get this set here. So we need to uh, select this event update animation. So we need to drag from this set and we need to drag this vector line to the speed here. Compile, save. And now uh, if you go to this thing, so we need to drag this blueprint uh, onto the world. So select this and drag. So now if you click on this play, so see it is playing an animation but still uh, it's not walking around. So we need to create the blueprint for the uh, T-Rex so that it can able to walk around the world here. So I'll go to the blueprint uh, which we have created for the T-Rex model. So here we have to go to this event graph. So uh, what the thing is we need to uh, like create a custom event so that it can able to uh, like walk around the area where we want to place. So we'll create a custom event, add custom event. So like this and you can name it uh, anything like search around or walk around, it's up to you. So now what the thing is, this uh, from this, we have to type AI move to, so we can select this AI move to. So what it will do is basically whatever the destination we are going to uh, connect, uh, this T-Rex model will going to, uh, going to walk around that area here. 
So what we have to do is in the destination, we have to get a random reachable point radius here. So we need to, so for time being, we need to, uh, we need the T-Rex model to walk around random points. And also like we need to set the origin, get actor location, sorry. So get actor location. So select so this, compile. And pan uh, self means like uh, right click, we can, sorry, uh, we have to drag this and we can go to the self. So we have to connect the self. And after that, uh, we need to like, what we have to do is uh, you can see whenever we select this character movement speed here, defaultly it is like 600. As I said, the, uh, the T-Rex model has to walk by default. So here also, we have to select the character movement and set the default speed to like 300. Okay. So it's just changing the units. So if you compile, that's fine. See, it is going to like 300 here. And now uh, when we begin play, it has to run this event. So here you can see there is an option like event begin play. So we have to call this event, which we have created. This is a search around here. Okay. And after that, still it, will, it won't run. So when we play, it won't run. So what we need to do is we need to add the nav mesh so that the AI characters can move around here. So what we have to do is like, we need to go to this add and there is an option like volumes and nav mesh. Basically this is used to run the AI characters. So we have to cover the entire area where the AI characters want to move. So just scale it. And if you want to see, you can press P so that we can see the navigatable area. So just I will press on P here and like that's it for this thing. So we'll see once we'll click on this play. So still it's not uh, running. So we'll see what's the problem. So I'll go to the blueprint. So, oh, sorry, here we need to specify the radius. Uh, so just we have to type like 3000 or like 2000. It's up to you means like the distance where it is going to cover this world so it, it's up to you means like up to where the model has to walk around and now we'll click on this play so see now the character is moving the t-rex model but it's moving only for one time and later it is going to stop uh, actually what we have to do is so we have to go to the blueprint uh, and here see after completing it is going to stop again we have to call this event back so here we can take the search around again and we'll compile and just we'll see this. Okay, uh, okay, we are getting this infinite loop detected. Okay, we need to add the delay. So sorry, so just we need to add the delay in between this search around. So select this and this thing here. And just we can give the delay means like, uh, let's say we can give like two, literally we can decide like according to our requirement. So I will give the delay like two here and save and click on this play. So now it's running, see? Okay. But the thing is the animations, when you can see whenever it is turning around, it's suddenly uh, turning to the other side. We want like smooth animation to be done like, see? So what we have to do is, so if you go to this animation, like sorry, blueprint of this AI, and if you select the mesh, uh, so we can go to the uh, like class defaults, you can search for your, so make sure you have to like uh, disable this your, and also enable orient rotation movement. Okay, so we have to do these things. And now we will see this. See, now whenever it is going to turn around, it is turning like smooth with a smooth animations. There is no uh, jerk kind of uh, animations here. It's running very smoothly. And also if you come to the blueprint uh, here, you can see like uh, there is an acceptance radius. Uh, it, you will come to know what is acceptance radius uh, when we start this T-Rex model to attack. So let's say for timing, I will give the value to like 10 or something. And also like uh, we can add some little bit amount of delay 
for this search around because it's not stopping. Uh, so what we can do is we have to take another delay. So just have it and just uh, delete this thing. So we'll take the delay. And if you press D left click, it will add a delay. And just I will drag this. And here we can get the random duration. So for that, what we can do is we can get a random floating range. So you can specify like a two and six. So what the thing is this event will run within this uh, random float like a time, like between like two to six seconds. Sometimes it may run like after three seconds or something. So we can compile this thing. Okay, so just we'll click on this play. So see, now it is going to stop for random and it is going to start working again. So later on videos, we'll see like uh, AI pawn sensing. So what the thing is that T-Rex model can sense the character and it will start uh, running towards the character. And later on, we will see how to create the attack animations like detection meter. So that's it for this tutorial. So see you in the next part.